Hello everyone and welcome. We're going to talk about making molds with 3D printed parts using composite mold, a remeltable and reusable mold making material that lets you make lots and lots of molds with the same mold making material and make lots and lots of different shapes anytime you want. We're going to use this little figurine guy as an example of a 3D printed part. I'm going to start off by huckling them to the bottom of a mold box. In my case, I'm going to use a plastic cup. You can use whatever you want, but preferably something that's made out of plastic. And some people like to use Legos to make their own shapes with it. In this case, I'm just going to use a plastic cup. Hard glue them down. It's ready to go. Spray your part with some Bubble Buster. The Bubble Buster reduces surface tension so that any bubbles on the surface will rise up and off of the part. And it'll give you a much better, much smoother mold. Now, I already melted the composite mold in the microwave. It took me about a minute to a minute and a quarter to melt this. And then I let it cool to about 130 degrees Fahrenheit or a little bit in that ballpark before I poured it onto the PLA plastic. And this allows it so to be poured onto the part without deformation of it. This composite mold has been remelted and reused probably about 15 times so far and I can keep on doing that as many times as I want. And there's my mold. So now we're gonna let this little guy cool to solidify. It takes about 30 minutes if I put this in the refrigerator or freezer to cool. Or if I leave it at a room temperature, I'd give it about two to three hours to cool completely. You can see a few of the bubbles that were on the surface coming up off of the part. That's the bubble buster which reduces the surface tension so those bubbles come up off of it. And after it's solidified, you pull them out of the mold box. In most cases, I just cut the mold box off, but I wanted to do it this way for some reason. And there we are. We have our mold. Pretty cool. The transparency of the composite mold makes it really nice because you can see where the mold is around it. It's really helpful when you're pouring in the casting materials. To get this little guy out, I'm actually going to push it out with my fingers in the back of it and push him out of the mold. So this is a nice one part mold and I have my guy. Advantages of composite mold is that it's remeltable and reusable so you can make as many molds as you want and the transparency helps and it's biodegradable and it works with lots and lots of different casting materials. Right now we are using our composite cast clear casting material and we're adding a little bit of white colorant to it we could do lots and lots of different colors we can mix colors these are all colors that are available through composite mold and we are going to carefully mix this together so that the bubbles aren't brought into the resin until recently i used to be able to say a any epoxy resin would work with composite mold but some of the new resins that are put out there in the market are ridiculously slow curing ones and take three to four days just to set up a little bit. I don't recommend those, not because they wouldn't work, but because they take a really, really long time and make mold making pretty darn boring. And the other extreme is the super fast curing urethane resins. Probably want to stay away from them, although they will work for smaller parts. You want something that is not super slow and you want something that's not super fast. And if you're going to use a urethane resin, I recommend using talcum powder or baby powder for your mold release because it, creates, because it creates a nice barrier and you have a much nicer casting. A whole bunch of other casting materials as well. Silicones, we haven't found a silicone that hasn't worked. You can use plaster. If you use plaster, use the plaster additive or the plaster release. And you can also use wax, soaps, candle wax, etc, etc. Now we're pouring the composite cast resin into the mold to fill it up and we will let this cure. Here it is in cured form and the same way we took out the mold when we're doing making the mold we're going to do the same thing here we're going to push it out with our fingers and we're going to use our little thumbs to pull it out of the surface and i always like to go with a ta-da at this point there we go we have our dwarf figurine now here's an example of it being made with a super soft silicone i love the silicone material this is our soft bait rubber that we use for making fishing lures and what I like about it is it cures really fast and it's super flexible and it works really well with our colorants and it makes it really cool. Here we go with another ta-da, ready? mold as many times as we want to make new molds or we can remelt it to make other shapes. That's the great advantage of the composite mold. You can remelt it and use it as many times as you want. And so the keys for making castings of a 3D printed part is to let the composite mold cool a little bit before you pour it on and other than that, you're good to go. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know. We'll answer as much as we can. And we have a free ebook available on our website. And now we're going to talk to you a little bit about why composite mold versus silicone mold making materials. And the advantage is, after you buy composite mold, you really don't have to buy it again because you can remelt and reuse it as many times as you want. And the composite mold melts in the microwave, double boiler, or any heating source. Here are some examples of other materials that we've made in it. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know what questions you have, and have an awesome day. And here's some more molds that we've made with the same composite mold. We melted it and we use it as many times as we want. Here is a little mother with a baby. This is a 3D printed part and we made it into silicone. And here is a little spaceship, Mercury ca space capsule that we 3D printed and then we made it into the rubber. This would make a really cool uh, toy for uh, a board game. So again, thank you very much. Have an awesome day. Let us know what questions you have.